SME Market Hub. Buy, sell, list, connect. Hello guys, welcome to Real Talk. My name is Cornelia O'Dwyer and we are fine dining by Kumbo on Adeso Kumbo Ademola for another juicy episode of Real Talk. Come with me. On Real Talk today, we have Abimbola Craig, lawyer and skinny girl in transit actor, Maje Aida, wellness coach and columnist, and Tajay Prest, media personality and health and fitness columnist. Hi guys. Hey. Hello Maje, how are you? Hello. Gentlemen. Mm, you're Hi. Welcome. Skinny girl in transit superstar. <laughs> yeah, 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 that's <laughs> and of course the gorgeous Tajay, how are you? I'm good. I'm excited about today's yeah. episode. It's quite a controversial topic actually. It is. Well, of course, well, you would know. I'm the only guy here. Should I be nervous? Uh, maybe. <laughs> oh, sorry, today we're talking about weight. And we're talking about the, um, I guess, obsessiveness of weight and how people see fitness. So I'm going to start with Skinny Girl in Transit because <laughs> you recently obviously shot the um, popular Indani TV show, No Plug, <laughs> no pun intended. <laughs> how do you feel about how people see weight and our consciousness about body image in general? How do I feel about the way people see right. weight and our consciousness? Weight is a sensitive topic. Let me just throw that out there first of all. And how people view it varies, I guess, based on geography. Mm -hmm. In America, for example, you being overweight in certain places, mm -hmm. you can walk down the street with your jokes hanging out. Mm -hmm. People are fine with it. In Nigeria, yeah, it's an issue. Mm -hmm. So based on that as well, I think that's why all of a sudden now you see everywhere, wake up every morning, lucky like phase one, or you're in Ukoi, everybody's running, mm -hmm. go on Instagram, everybody's hashtagging fit fam. So yeah, weight, weight, weight has become very, it's, it's a trending thing right now in it's Nigeria, and let's just say it Lagos. Is it is, Completely. yes it I is. Think people are, so do you think uh, it's trendy or it's just, is, is it a phase? Is it something that's been a phase I, I don't think it's a phase. I think it's just the beginning. I think where we are is where America was back in the days of uh, when LA Fitness first came mm -hmm. into the mix and it was just all about weight loss. That's, I think, where we are now mm -hmm. as a country. It's just coming into its own. It's mm -hmm. becoming very hip and pe people are beginning to realize the connection between health mm -hmm. and fitness. It's, it's necessary to be healthy. Mm -hmm. Whereas I think in the past, you would just blame it on someone cursing you from your village or whatever mm -hmm. it may be and, um, and just move on. But now people are aware. People are aware of how they look, how they feel, mm -hmm. and want to see results, want to see results mm -hmm. in their bodies. We have an issue here, and sorry for bringing this up, but mm -hmm. body shaming mm -hmm. is a problem. I think it's, there's, people have no filter Absolutely. Here yeah. in this country. <laughs> Tell me. They yeah. don't understand. You walk up to someone, ah, you've added weight. Mm. Ah, you've lost weight. Ah, you don't um, look well. Okay. Ah, you're well. You know, you've put on weight. Very Whatever the case may be, people just don't seem to understand how offensive that can be. Mm -hmm. You know, if somebody is, let's say somebody's looking very slim mm -hmm. and you're like, ah, are you okay? Are you, are you well? You know, is everything all right? <laughs> Maybe they, as, they associate slimness with poverty or something. You know. So you're, you're it's, saying it's, that it's it's both extreme. So it's, it's extremely yeah. skinny it's, it's and then ex and big. Either so way, on both sides. Either yeah. Way. Point is that people need to really be more aware of how it affects the other person, mm -hmm. the end receiver, when you say something to them. You know, like you have added weight. You don't know what that person is going mm -hmm. through, yeah. or what they're mm -hmm. feeling, or whether they're dealing with low self-esteem that day. Whatever the case may be we need to chill we everyone just needs to calm down with the body shaming i mean body shaming is something that has become an issue in mm -hmm. in the u.s i know that's right. it's a big deal it's right big now deal, yes, you know people are being very careful mm -hmm. about how they use words even mm -hmm. you know because yeah. everyone is very sensitive mm -hmm. here i think people think nobody's sensitive nobody cares i just say what i want yeah. what yeah. auntie just tell right. you, you know? but the thing is mo most people hide behind the internet anyway and say these things but then you know Mm. Let me, I guess, throw it to you, Tajay. Do you, have you had any experiences where people have shamed you, yes, um, whether it be the internet trolls <laughs> or even directly? Because I've had somebody who, you know, ah, Cornelia, mm, mm, oh my. Jeez, what's <laughs> yeah. There's a, 
the most recent one was probably I wrote an article on Starvate because I don't know recently they were like oh you we need to be seeing can you send pictures mm -hmm. of like when you're explaining exercises can you mm -hmm. just do the you know picture illustrations yeah. so I was like okay so you know really that's serious so I sent some pictures in and then I think o over some time probably like two girls were just angry with themselves mm -hmm. that day or something like this girl be big and be confident right. so they went on the internet so on Starvate the comments are probably still there if mm -hmm. they haven't yeah. deleted them. And then they were like, how is this girl talking about fitness? She's fat. Mm -hmm. She's humongous. She's this, this, this. Why is she talking about health and fitness? Mm -hmm. Five people don't know anything about health and fitness. I'm, I'm just like, so I didn't really say anything. But then the people that, I don't know, the other people that obviously have been reading the posts were like, okay, wait. But this girl actually says some stuff. So they started attacking her. Yeah. And I was just like, hmm, well, I didn't have to do anything. And at the end of the day, it was just a case of, okay, it's either you're angry with yourself that day or... You're as big as well, and you don't see why I can be big and be confident and love myself and still want to live a healthy life. Yeah. And you're sitting in your house and you don't like yourself and you're angry with the world and all that, you know. So you just say, yeah. let me tell Taji that about herself. How can she be fat and be talking about fitness? How dare she? So I have a story. I went to the cinema about three days ago. And for people that, well, friends and people that follow me on Instagram, I have... I had surgery last year, the Jill told me so I decided to lose weight. So I've been on a journey of trying to lose weight. So where I was before and where I am now, there's a huge difference. And I'm grateful for that, but then the struggle is real. So I went to the cinema and um, I was giving him my tickets and I was about to go in and the guy goes, hey mama. And I'm like, if I was on the streets buying something, that's why I said mama. You ignore the person that's in the streets. So I'm thinking to myself, you're in uniform, you're meant to be working here. I'm like, what did you say? And he goes, uh... You are big now, you're fine, but you need to lose weight. Wow. And I went off. Well, yeah. Now, my reason for going off was, goes back to what he was saying in relation to filter. Yeah. People need to know how to talk, when to talk, and to who they're speaking to. Mm -hmm. I was upset with the fact that I've been struggling with this thing. I'm aware of my size. I'm trying to lose weight. You're coming from nowhere and just throwing out judgments. Exactly. I felt offended by that in relation to the body shaming and the filter. But then if I look at things on the other side as well, I don't know how to say this without it sounding or being taken the wrong way, but sometimes it's a bit necessary. Sometimes some people it's necessary need for people to say to mm. you. Yes, what I mean necessary, not necessary, but sometimes when it's said, it gives you that jolt. Mm -hmm. It gives you that push that you need. It brings that it brings you into that form of consciousness where you realize, yeah, I should do something about it. Now I'm talking about if somebody's morbidly obese, mm. and then you're trying to get into somewhere. For example, you're trying to get on a plane, and you're sitting next to somebody who you're literally squashing to the wall. And dude goes, "Guy, I beg, you're too big, man. You need to lose some." But you do get that look. Speaking yeah. of the plane, though, you do get you see that what I'm look. To say. So when you, you get, get to your seat, and people look at you like, "Are you really going to fit in?" How many seatbelts? So you get offended by it. But then I see things in two ways. If you're the kind of person where you realize, because you can't be that big, and to be honest with you, act like you're not aware that you're that big. So if someone makes, or depending on how many remarks you've heard in that month yeah. or that week, I mean, eventually you start to realize, okay, let me do something about it. So subconsciously you start to watch what you eat. You maybe look at Shanti once or twice, but sometimes we need that harsh reality. A friend of mine wrote an article for me once. Actually, he didn't write an article. I interviewed him. Okay. This, is a, this is a couple of years back and because he'd been through a massive weight loss. Mm -hmm. So I told him to tell me about it. Tell me about you know your, journey. your journey, what you went through, what you did, how you did it. But one of the things that sort of stood out was that he talked about people were lying to him. People weren't telling him the truth about his situation. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until he got to his doctor's office that the doctor told him that, reality. mate, you're, you're not going to make it. Yeah. You know, that that's when. And he said that you know, he wished his friends mm -hmm. had spoken a little more honestly to him about mm -hmm. it. I feel like... Yes, weight is a gradual process. It's one day you wake up and you realize, oh my gosh, weight, I've, I've put on weight yeah. yeah. But at the same time, you start to feel differently. I think with me, because I was really big at one point and then I lost a lot of weight and then, you know, I know how I felt when I lost yeah. that weight. Like, so not even... The confidence booster, for not sure. Even, not yeah. even the, the confidence booster, just physically how I felt. Yeah. Yeah. Like, I just well, felt lighter, lighter, you know, yeah. everything yeah. about me, yeah. you know, I was happier. Yeah. Yeah. Generally, yeah. just happier. Yeah. Even if I never thought I was unhappy before. That's but a good point. So do you think becomes, that secretly there's you know, some kind of depression that comes with knowing that you have to lose weight and the journey to getting there? Is that, is that, is that, is that, I wouldn't, yeah. I wouldn't say depression. I'll say it's like a, I'll say it's a, that there's that dark room. Mm. Do you understand what I mean? So it's not necessary. well for me anyways, it wasn't necessarily depression, but there were days where you had like dark low days. moments, dark, yeah. that's the word, dark mm. days, where you're just sitting down and you're just reflecting and you feel like, 
I don't know, you feel like there's certain things that are going in certain directions in your life and then you sit down and then you evaluate and realize that, see, there's certain things I can't control. Mm -hmm. You can't control how people react to you, yeah. how they feel about you. You can't yeah. control. But the things you can control, mm -hmm. and for me, was one of them was my weight. So I'm like, you know what? People have been talking about it. My mom has been on my case. Let me try. Yeah. So that if I do succeed, if I don't, wherever I reach, the point is I know that sure. I tried. So to be honest, I think they're... They're dark. Well, so are you trying? Because is it really, you know, to be honest with you, some some people say that their mm -hmm. slimmest days are when they have a boyfriend. Like some, mm -hmm. some I have a friend like that. So, to be yeah. honest with you, I'm just one of those people that <laughs> when you have a boyfriend, your body is I'm tight and she right. Never eats yeah. But yeah, boyfriend. so clearly you could tell how long I've been single, yeah. right? <laughs> 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 I, I, don't know about that. I thought it was the other way around. I thought, that, yeah. I thought so that when you have the boyfriend, you're in the comfort zone. And no, and for me, it's the other way around. Yeah. Yeah. It's, 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 it's a bit of. When she was mm. dating, or when she's dating, she's married now. So when she was dating, she lost matter because she's, she's happy. She's in huge form of euphoria. She's cooking for him. She had to have time to eat or remember herself, only just making sure her glam is on point. Mm. But now she's married and. You get married, right. then the comfort then it sets yeah, in. Then Do you understand what I mean? Because then right, it's not like, right. okay, that's reality now. Yeah. This is this is my boo. We're eating together. I'm waiting for him to get back from work. We're eating late nights. When she was single, woo, she was on fire. Because at the end of the day, I think it's that, you know that you have a man, but then you want to also be appealing to mm -hmm. other people. Do you think that your weight affects your suitors or, or the people Ooh. that you attract to you? Uh, um, no. The yes. quality. I want to hear Let me use the word. Quality of people that... I would say... Yes, if it's a person of low quality, mm -hmm. then yes. Um, we're very visual people, mm -hmm. True. you know, as Nigerians, we're visual. Mm -hmm. As human beings, we're visual anyway, mm -hmm. but I think Nigerians even more so. Mm -hmm. Borderline shallow, mm -hmm. you know, unless that you know. Borderline? Ooh, <laughs> That's yeah. shallow. Let's, you just border, yeah. Yeah. let's be honest with ourselves. So it's all it. about how you look. How you look basically determines everything, mm -hmm. and people will go through great lengths to sell how they look, right. so you know, branding. it's, all, it's all about branding, Marketing. packaging, <laughs> exactly. So, um, yes, I think it definitely affects um, your interaction with the opposite sex for mm -hmm. sure, because especially you know, in the physical bedroom activity, because weight apparently for not apparently weight does affect stamina. It, it affects how long, you, how long you can the go. It affects, are, yeah. The fit you are, the oh better you are. I would experience. say probably with guys. I, I, I don't think, say, I think with guys. Yeah, maybe with guys, but not with girls. Babes. Really? No, well, no. I can't speak no. for women. Even if you're 20 pound weight, it shouldn't make you lazy. I think no, no. Uh, I think <laughs> at all. To, I think it's down to self esteem. Tanya, you're standing a low yeah. Like, you have personal that experience. Is, that is I'm just saying. Yeah, that's, that's what I see. So, for the sexual thing, if you are self-conscious about your weight, right. it's going to affect it's your sex affect life. Your sex life. You know, yeah. it's going to affect you, you know, how you That's perform out yeah. because you're overthinking. Mm -hmm. You're sitting there, you're in bed and you're thinking, <laughs> is he attracted to me? Is he into this? Yet? Oh my don't God, am I crushing him? Going to turn off the lights. Yeah, oh, I don't like the way true. I'm looking in this angle or whatever, That's you know? So overthinking and not in the moment. Mm -hmm. So those are the things that I think take sort away from Sort of pull you away from But there is a definite correlation between fitness and sex. Mm -hmm. yeah, I can assure you, the fitter you are, the better your sex life. We decided to take real talk to the streets. If I'm you, eh, I go tell the person, say, understand, say, main reduce in weight, main do exercise so that the thing go reduce because person like me, I know few Mali all over, I know few friend all over, I see they go. Ah, all over na person, but me, I know they like all over, I they like slim girl, person way sure. I'm not too fine, understand? I go to and say make you lose weight now, as you make you stop the kind of thing when they eat, eh, all those stuff. Eh, unless say eh, you maybe if you don't know the person, you know, but if you don't know the person, I know if you just walk out, go meet and tell and say to a friend. So they answer me, Sha, but this man, she never want to answer me. Reduce your fat. Like for me, I, be, I don't fit now. Too fat, you know, maybe slim and fat. You go there better, but fat to fat. You know, if like woman when I go body now, if I can't enter bed, you know, say it go day hard for you to maybe like to have sex or something. Because you know, as you do now, maybe her tummy already go don't cover her body and my own also come up. You know, say go day very, very hard to meet. But if not a slim person, why? Go only, yeah, it go day is. Maybe I don't like person under the door, it's not big too much. Because if you say that person is too big, you know, say if you bad, the person will never be big. There'll be time I marry him. If he be born one picking, he'll be born two picking. If he don't be too big, me, I know they like him. I'll go 
meet my family, say, return and back, say, I don't marry her again. Because you don't come to me, you don't come to my man now. I be me, I don't like her. If you man, if you man, you don't say they are man. You go see you go see woman to like her. No be no be no be every woman, every no be every woman self like a uh, man to big self. But if man, you go easy to marry. Especially woman when over marry. You know go make the woman fat too much. Woman when over born, you know go to make fat too much because of sugar. If man fat too much, you know good. Man where fat one, you know go get prick, a prick go small. Eh, uh, because the stomach still go cover everything down. All the hook where they there goes. <laughs> Bimbo, when you look at like morbidly obese people, and let's just say someone who's like maybe 20, you know, 40 stone, and you know how in America they have these plus size campaigns and it's big as beautiful. Recently, the runway models were walking on Fashion Week, like yeah. six size 16 and above. Yeah. Do you think that that message of acceptance that these plus size women preach? goes against the <laughs> goes against the whole fit fam thing are they hand in hand or it's like which one do we accept i don't i don't i don't think it goes against the whole fit fam thing i think the undertone of what they're trying to generate or portray out there is just simply trying to say learn to love who you, you are, are. Mm. which i'm fine with mm -hmm. yeah. but then i think some people and some i think people it goes down to plaque. interpretation as yeah, well some people yeah. Yeah. What I'm trying yeah. to say. so some people take it to like legit extreme yeah. whereas you 400 pounds. Yeah. Like, do you understand yeah. me? You're saying <laughs> plus that's size. That's I'm all about that. Yeah. Only yeah, it's I'm yeah. wearing Gabby Fresh. I'm like, mm -mm. yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, what, that's, what to, that's what I was so trying to do. So is that consciousness in. as well? So it, yeah. it works both ways, boiling down to what he said initially, which is the fact that we need to find that balance. I think mm. another thing that people are missing with the whole plus size on runway situation. In like in England now, I did a competition, um, plus size, plus size competition, mm -hmm. runway, whatever, to win things. So we obviously got to the top five. But the, their, their, their main thing, yes, it's okay for you to be big. It's okay for you to be, you know, big, bold, and beautiful. But you have to be healthy. Mm -hmm. yeah. So regardless of whether these girls are big, bold, and beautiful on the runway, it is a factor. It is, it is a requirement for you, you to, be to be on healthy. the runway. Yeah. You need to be healthy and fit. Mm -hmm. Because you can't be Running on the runway, you can't yeah. carry yourself. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You need to be healthy and healthy. It is a factor. Like this oh is something God. that people yeah. haven't realized. They think that, okay, because they're saying that it's okay to be big and beautiful yeah. and you love yourself, therefore, I'm not going to be healthy. I'm going to be eating 10 burgers a day and I'm okay, okay because, no, I mean, no, there's no, runways. No, no. There's girls over there on the runway where I can't die. Yeah. It's a factor. It's a requirement for them to be healthy. They work So people don't know like that aspect. Like they made us. They were like telling us. Yeah. They asked us, do you go to the gym? Yeah. It's important that you, if, if you win this, it is important that mm -hmm. you keep your fitness regime up, everything. Uh, I like, think they don't it, show, I think they don't show that side. That's where the issue is. Yeah. I think I can sort of expand on that well. a bit as well because, again, it's to also counter this beauty ideal of, you know, size mm -hmm. zero mm -hmm. being mm -hmm. the only the ultimate. It's not even visual of beauty. Size zero is not you know, mm -hmm. like you have to be skinny to be considered beautiful. No. And again, with the whole body shaming thing, mm -hmm. you know, is to try and get these um, plus size women to understand that, you know, that's not the only beauty standard. You are also beautiful mm -hmm. as well, mm -hmm. as long as you're healthy yeah. and you're active. active. And you're working at it. We are designed as human beings to be running around chasing food and killing it. That's what we're designed mm -hmm. for. So you're designed to move. Mm. Move and enjoy your body. Enjoy body. You want to see what your body can, can do. do. Mm -hmm. All Snap we ever sweet. ask of this life is that we try. Right. Exactly. Okay? Yeah. So you want to see so efforts. Even yeah. if you, yeah. you want the same way you want a guy to try for you. Mm -hmm. You also, you know, it's, 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 this, it works both ways. But I find you know? that the pressure is incredibly, like, intense with females. I don't I think, think that I when think guys put, put on weight, you, ca I can't I you can't yeah, tell no, a guy women, your stomach is too big. I think it's between yeah. you guys. Yeah, you yeah, know? yeah of course. Mm -hmm. We, we don't understand true. women. Yeah. Women get each other. They don't yeah. like each other. Mm -hmm. I've, that's one thing I've seen. Mm -hmm. I agree. I agree. What is that about? Why? That's a topic that's a whole other thing. Well, you can join the conversation by using the hashtag Andani Roll Talk. If you have a topic you would like us to discuss, follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Andani TV using the hashtag Andani Roll Talk. Until next time, see you in Roll Talk. Hey, what's up, guys? They call me DJ Spinner, aka the cap you enjoyed the video you just watched please please subscribe and danny tv just click below
and subscribe and you can watch more amazing videos. Thank you.